Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your ball, being we back with another video. In today's video, bro, we're gonna be talking about a race tier list. Uh, we're redoing this tier list because you know there's a few couple of new races that were added. We have 20 plus, you know, races now in the game. So let's go ahead, rank them, so y'all know exactly which ones are good, and which ones are alright, and which ones are bad. But without further ado, bro, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're literally 100 subs away. If you haven't subbed yet, bro, hit that sub button. Join the family. We're trying to get to 20k subs, so let's make it happen. All right. First and foremost, we got to start with the weakest one. And the weakest one is you, human. Human is just dog. It literally does nothing. It does nothing. Um, hybrid elf is okay. It's, it's nothing crazy. Linthori. Linthori is all right, only because of the frost, you know, the frost area that you... You get you get a decent amount of decks and that here and there. Dwarf, dwarf is I'm gonna put it up here because we all know how like bad the crafting system could be, especially with you know having a chance to craft something. You know with dwarf you get more of a chance to craft whatever you're trying to craft. So yeah, um, goblin is really really bad also. High arc high arc is really good. So high arc is really good for um strength um so like any hammers or whatever you have high arc is really is just above lenthory it does a decent amount of damage it could be a problem um gorgon race the gorgon race is fake mid so with the gorgon race you immune to poison and you're immune to petrification so which is only from medusa honestly it's just like i was like bro nobody really this race is just evolved, like this race is just for one thing, doing the Medusa raid, and honestly, it's still not the best race, so I wouldn't even touch this at all. Um, this race right here, uh, it's a healing race. It's a healing race. It helps you with with healing a lot. So like, if you have healing magic, it's really it's a really good race to use. Um, besides that. I don't think it really has anything crazy, but it is a good healing race. So I'm gonna put it up there just for healing um, reasons. Nothing crazy. Dark Elf is good with flames. If you have, let's say, if you have four leaf, four uh, four leaf flame, or five leaf flame, right? You got a demon and everything, and you have Dark Elf. You're gonna be doing some crazy damage. You could be up there and like, you feel me? You can get one shot, depending on what build you have. You can get one shot with that. Starborn. Starborn is really good for people that use magic. So if you're using Starborn, you're gonna give um Dark Elf with um Purgatory Flames a problem. Um Linthori, uh Kinthori, Kinthori. Is this a legendary one? Yeah, Kinthori. Legendary Kinthori is really good also. It's really good. If I had to like put it, I'd put it like in front of these two, because you get crazy amount of damage um, whenever you get damaged and your health well your health goes down it increases your damage over time which is crazy to me now that i'm thinking about it i'll put i'll put this one here because it's not that it's not that bad you put it like yeah right above dwarf because dwarf ain't that crazy either and then we'll put this down here and those down there Cause I'm not gonna lie, compared to the the monsters that are coming up, this could be like this for real. We saving these for the elites. Like I'm talking about, Rayuman is a demon, bro. Is a demon. So out of combat, bro, you you heal. You get out of combat faster. You heal double the speed, and you get Rayuman M1s. If you're using um, Heavenly Restriction, you're gonna be broken, bro. You're doing like a hundred, almost like 156 every M1. It's crazy to me. A broken. You feel me? And this is not even the one I'm talking about. So you could go down here. Legendary Kinthori up here. I thought it was the same thing. I don't even know what this does. So we're just going to put it down here. Nobody cares about you. Everybody gets you so they can get that. So uh, Mahari. Mahari's broken. Ma Mahari's a problem. So you adapt to people's ability. You nerf their damage. And every time the wheel turns again, you literally get majority of your health back. And you get 25% mana. Don't ask me how I know all this stuff. I've been playing this game for a very long time, bro. So I'm a little bit geeked out. Um, Primordial Human. Primordial Human is not bad. It's not. Um, so I'll just put it up here, too. Eh. Eh. 
put it like right here. I don't think it's up there with the elites for sure. So I find man, stuff on that. I think this helps with like mana consumption. It helps with mana consumption. So I just put it here. It's not bad at all if you want to like make like a mana build or whatever. But it's not gonna compete with these up here if you think it is. Like it's not. And I also think it heals itself. Um, high elf garbage. Dukes. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Dukes. Um, stone kin. Stone kin is not bad. It's not bad. You get a pretty decent amount of like I'll put it above these for what it do. Well, you actually get a pre well, you get like I'm talking about damage wise. You know, I'll put it up for sure, put it above dwarf. You know, have it like that. Damage wise, these Lenthori, especially high orc. Like, I think if I was to like do it with like with the stats that they give, boom, perfect. Because high orc, don't sleep on high orc. High orc could output some crazy damage, bro. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of y'all just waiting for <coughs> the Lunarian race. Dryad is all right. It's nothing crazy. Arc, dog, water. It's not in, it's in beast, garbage. Number nobody uses these. Like it's just like I don't even know what they give, bro. Like I remember looking at them and just was like, yeah, there's no way in my life I'm ever using these. So you should think the same thing. Dread scale, oh, dread scale is broken. The only thing that really does a lot of damage to you is spears, you know. But you nerf everything else. Um. And you have a roar that gives you iframes and you stun the player. So, you know, with the cards played right, this could be this is a very dangerous race. And then Lunar uh Lunarian. Now, if I was to rank these from front to end, like what's the strongest out of the top four? So right now in the game, Mahari, Rayuman, and Dreadscale and Lunarian is like that ass the strongest. You can even put Legendary and Thori up there too, but you know. Because of damage wise, I guess. Put them up there. But if I had to rank it, I'll put Lunarian up front. Because of damage. He, he has damage and he can also tank. He's literally these two guys in one. So, you know, this outputs a lot of damage. This one nerfs. That's Lunarian right there. Um, One nerfs, one heals faster. I'll put Mahari above Rayuman just because of like how tankier you become and like you get your health back. So, you know, that healing that it does, Mahari has it too. And you nerf people's damage. That's literally what gives um Lunarian like a problem. Somewhat it's not it's not too crazy, but it's just a little problem. Uh Dread Scale is perfect where it's at. Nah. Dread Scale and Legendary Lenthori are like damn near equal bro they're not like too crazy like that'd be an equal fight if they were to fight with just like skills and stuff over time you do crazy damage um and this guy could stun you and <clears throat> chain combos after combos after combos so yeah it's pretty it's pretty fair match but yeah bro make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe bro let me know how y'all feel about my tier list down below and let me know what other videos y'all want to see he goes out and then please man chill with the with the with the videos that that takes me like about like three years to make peace